Welcome to the latest edition of the DBS webinar series, Insurance Insight, where we tackle in-depth topics, dig deep into breaking news, and scour the industry for the people who can give you the information you need as a financial professional. In these sessions, we give you the tools and analysis so you can better understand the products and solutions that will help you help your clients. Now, here's your host, Kurt Fossen. Hello, and welcome again to another edition of Insurance Insight. My name is Kurt Fossen, and thank you so much for taking time out of your schedule today to join us for what I think is going to be a very interesting conversation. Today, we're gonna to talk about the 20th anniversary of the industry's promotion that happens each September. It's called Liam. And for those of you that don't remember what that is, that's Life Insurance Awareness Month. You know, it's hard to believe that it's been 20 years since the Life Happens organization started that campaign. And in that time, we've seen a numerous number of different themes and various celebrity spokespeople, but really the main message has stayed the same throughout. It's really how vital, how important it is for each one of you and your peers in the industry to talk to your clients and help them obtain life insurance, both for their families and for their businesses. To help us discuss this today, I'm pleased to have Michelle Buswell, Senior Vice President and Chief Operating Officer for Legal and General America joining us. Michelle leads the underwriting and operations functions for the business and is currently working on transformation this transforming rather the service experience to be more effective and efficient to better support the more than 1 million customers and partners just like you that work with LGA every single day. Michelle, thank you so much for joining me today. Oh, thanks so much for having me, Kurt. It's great to be here and happy Life Insurance Awareness Month. <laughs> Same to you. Same to you. Well, Michelle, I'm going to start with an easy question. Let's talk about, in your mind, why is life insurance so important? And more importantly, why should financial professionals really focus on it? Mm, I think that's a great place to start. As you can imagine, life insurance is a topic that I am very passionate about. You know, for me, I think that we should all think about life insurance as protection, security, and quite frankly, peace of mind. Uh, for me, it's all about protecting your loved ones from the unthinkable and from some of the hardships that can really come from a devastating loss. Uh, it provides security and, again, peace of mind. Everything from enabling your family to stay in the home that they've you know, grown to love, uh, to covering daily expenses, or even paying for college tuition for your children. And it could also give peace of mind for paying those funeral expenses. You know, I, um, I'll just share a personal situation that took place a, a couple of years ago. We unfortunately lost my mother-in-law, and I don't think that, you know, we really had valued or appreciated that life insurance policy as much as we did when that devastating loss happened. Mm -hmm. uh, for us, it eliminated the financial burden for my husband and his siblings. Uh, my mother-in-law was protected appropriately, so we didn't have to worry about the medical expenses that had accrued, nor did we have to worry about the funeral expenses. But unfortunately, as beneficial as life insurance is, according to LIMRA, there are still roughly 106 million Americans that are either underinsured or not insured at all. So I think we've got a lot of work to do to close that gap. You know, we sure do. And just a staggering number, just a staggering number. And it seems like such a no brainer when you look at the benefits. But as you look at the studies that Limmer does and, and other groups, it, it, the number of consumers that not only don't have it, as you said, or really are underinsured is staggering. You know, in your opinion, what are the barriers that are preventing customers from really getting the life insurance that they need? I ask myself that question often. I think that the biggest barrier is education. Yeah. I think that uh, there are so many misnomers out there. Uh, age is an example. I've got two daughters who are in their 20s and they think, well, I'm young. I don't need life insurance. <laughs> well, or, uh, 
<laughs> right, exactly. You know, they're young and invincible or health status. You know, they're uh, they're healthy. And so they think that they don't need life insurance or on the flip side, maybe they have medical conditions and they think that they can't get life insurance. I also think that, you know, there's that misnomer of complexity. Some people think that, you know, oh, it's intimidating or it's, you know, a complex process. And I, I'd say last but not least, I think that price has traditionally been a barrier as well. I think that there's a misnomer out there that life insurance is expensive or too expensive. And, you know, not to continue to quote Lim Limra, but uh, the 2022 barometer study that they did showed that more than half of Americans overestimate the cost of life insurance by three times the actual cost. So again, for me, it's, it really all boils down to education. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's funny. Uh, my children are of similar age and uh, my daughter just got married and I learned in sitting and visiting with them, I said, you know, we got a little baby and you got a big mortgage. Maybe we should do something here. And they too thought, well, it's pretty expensive. You know, we're probably pretty healthy. And it wasn't until they had some education that they actually took some steps. Now, when you think about the uneducated consumer and, you know, why, why is that? Now, we've worked at TBS, we've worked with LGA for, for years. And I know that you're doing some things to help bridge that gap, right? We are. Uh, let, let me first say, if you have any tips for me on the wedding planning, let me know, because I've got two <laughs> weddings coming up next year. <laughs> save save money. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, you know, just to that point, I think that, you know, not everyone is lucky enough to have a family member like you or like me that's in the business that can take the time to educate them. So very similar to what you did, I educated my daughters on the importance of life insurance. Um, my oldest just bought a home with her fiance. They're getting married next year. And she was of the same mindset that, you know, I'm young, I'm healthy, I don't need that. Well, now that I've educated her adequately, her and her fiance both now have life insurance policies. Um, but not everyone's lucky enough to have people in the business, a family member, or to have an advisor that can help them through that. You now at LGA, we're really all about making life insurance more accessible. Uh, to make it easier and ultimately so that we can protect more Americans. We're very committed to breaking down those barriers that I mentioned earlier. We've got a number of educational resources. Uh, I think one of my favorites is our campaigns in a box for advisors. It really helps advisors to not only educate their customers on the value and the importance of life insurance, but it also can help them target certain in certain communities, if you will. Uh, so they can help them target females, as an example. Females tend to be less insured than men. Uh, again, that barometer study that Limmer did was so insightful. It, it shared that 46% of females are insured compared to 53% of men. So that campaign in a box, I think, can really help bridge the gap between men and women. Uh, it can also help, again, educate people just in general on the value of life insurance. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I, I've, I've, I've heard a lot of good things about that campaign in the box, and you know, we'll talk more about how everybody watching and listening on our podcast or on the webcast can find out more about that at the end of the call. So, but let's 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 take it to another step further, making the process easy and less invasive. I mean, I've been in the business maybe three or so decades. Um, I, I've heard that yeah, we're going to make it easier and less invasive for for years. And it's been a goal of DBS's for as long as I can remember. So Michelle, talk us through what LGA has done just over the last couple of years to make the process easier for customers. Great question. Simplifying the process has been a huge focus for legal in general America. Uh, and for someone like me, who's an operations person uh, and been in operations my entire career, I love that process of squeezing the air out of things so that it is as simple as it can possibly be. We've been focusing on the ease of doing business for the last few years. It really started with our digital process, our digital journey. Uh, we've been leveraging all kinds of innovative tools in the market that help us to reduce the need for evidence. Uh, let's face it, no one likes to go and get an exam. Um, and uh, if we can reduce the need for exams, that will in turn reduce cycle time. It will get decisions made faster, which will improve placement rates. So there's just this whole cascading positive effect 
So we started our journey a couple of years ago and we've seen some incredible success. Uh, to share a few points with you from a digital perspective, are you know roughly 90% of the people who start their applications online finish them. Huh. So they start the application online and they complete them. We've experienced roughly 50% reduction in cycle time. So we were hovering around 40 to 50 days on average, which is you know in line with the industry. And we've mm -hmm. shrunk that to about 15 to 20 days on average to get decisions sure. made. We've also done a lot to eliminate the need for exams. 75% of applicants can apply lab free That's and great. one in three applicants are currently receiving a decision instantly. That's fantastic. I mean, kudos to you and to your organization team putting that together, because I think the more of those barriers that can be broken down, the simpler we can make it, the better chance we have of, of uh, bringing that big number of 100, more than 100 million people uh, down to a more reasonable level. So, so you talked about how it's easier for customers but we have a lot of advisors obviously on the on the uh, meeting with us today so what's the best story you've heard from an advisor of how the process really helped them serve their customers i never get tired of reading testimonials and feedback from agents uh, and we've received a lot of positive feedback on the journey that uh, our horizon journey uh, a recent one that i got just uh, not too long ago was from an advisor in chicago and he thanked us for the horizon of the horizon platform and he described it as us helping him macro a policy from start to finish in 46 minutes and it wow. saved him yeah and it saved him the the time of navigating through the chicago rush hour traffic and an entire tank of gas and so he was going on about how the save of time really helped him in, in his commute and he turned it into a you know a, a tank of gas if you will and one other one that um, I just read not too long ago was uh, one of our, our agents said that they couldn't believe that their customer was able to get a policy from start to finish in 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. They were able to download it in the amount of time that it took them that took them to run to the kitchen and grab a snack. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Those are great stories. Those are great stories, and 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 they're real because that's that's really what our advisors are are struggling with. You're struggling with uh, those who are joining us today because you don't have this. You don't want to have these long tails of things. And it doesn't mean every single case will go that fast, but many of them are, and that that's just incredible. That's great to hear. You know, another barrier that you mentioned was cost and really trying to keep prices fair and, and truly affordable for customers. So. I know that LGA has always had a, a great philosophy around pricing. Maybe you could share how you keep products so affordable. Yeah, I, I, price is one of the most important factors, I think, for many customers. Uh, which policy is going to give them the coverage that they need at the most affordable cost? Um, I know that's important for my family as well. Um, with a focus on us providing access to life insurance to as many Americans as possible, we're very dedicated to keeping our prices affordable. And we're typically one of the most affordable coverages that, that's available in the market. We typically will do that by using advanced underwriting data and ana analytics that allows us to keep our finger on the pulse of pricing with the ability to shift that very quickly, depending upon the insights or what the data is telling us. So it's really, um, again, we've kind of modernized the, the approach and the process a bit, and we're using sophisticated data and analytics that keeps us really in tune with what's happening in the market. That's perfect, That that really is. So, so let's now talk about the product set that really you're most well known for, and that's term insurance. And we know that it can be a very affordable option, especially in uncertain economic times for customers to, to utilize. So can you walk us through maybe some of the benefits of term life insurance? Absolutely. You know, as I mentioned before, you know, it hit home for me a couple of years ago when we had a devastating loss in our family with my mother-in-law passing away and just the, the personal um, peace of mind that it gave the family. It allowed us to focus on comforting each other versus 
all of the other things that needed to be done. Term life insurance is typically the most budget-friendly option that's available. Uh, one of the biggest benefits is that it offers that level premium. So it, it gives customers the um, assurance that you know your payments are gonna remain the same. Um, I don't know about you, but I like that. <laughs> I like knowing that there's consistency for the term of the policy. Also, customers have a choice in selecting the, the, the length of the term to meet their needs. So it's not a one size fits all. So it's affordable, it's you know budget friendly, it's you know that guarantee of the premium staying level. You've got a choice on the length of the term depending on what your needs are. And we also recognize, as I was mentioning earlier, you're, you're, as you go through the stages of life, your needs change. And so many we recognize that many customers uh, might have higher need earlier in life. And then as financial milestones are met, whether that be paying off a mortgage or writing that final college payment tuition out, you know, I, I know I was rejoicing when that happened for me, um, as those milestones are achieved, your needs go down. So unique to LGA, we offer what we call term writers. A term writer can be stacked on top of a base term of 10, 15, or 20 years. And what that basically means is that the customer gets added coverage earlier in the, in, in the policy, and they don't end up paying for coverage that they don't need as time goes on. That makes sense and, and very innovative. As you said, uh, you know, it's, it's something unique to LGA, which uh, helps you stand a head and shoulders above the rest. So you've done a lot of great things from affordability to accessibility, and you're very forward thinking at, at LGA. So now let's, let's pull out your crystal ball. I don't know if you have yours handy, but let's, uh, let's <laughs> look for your crystal ball. Five years from now, five years from now, think, first of all, think about the whole industry. What, in your opinion, where do you think the industry is going to be? And more importantly, how about the buying process? What does that look like? I don't think there's a better time to be in this business than now. I think that it is such a, a fantastic opportunity for all of us. And when you think about all of the innovative tools and technology that's available at our fingertips, that is transforming not only the buying process, but even the servicing. Um, it sounds a little cliche, but I think that that's going to continue to happen and the buying process will be as easy as, as it is to shop on Amazon. Click, click, click. And I don't know about anyone else, but I use Amazon pretty frequently. <laughs> I've got multiple packages that are delivered a week, um, but I do think it's going to be as easy as just clicking. It's fast, convenient. You could do it sitting in your, you know, on your couch um, and affordable. Um, and I think most important, everyone will use it. I, at least that's my hope is that everyone everyone will use it. I think we're going to start to see all of the things that I shared earlier that we've been making great progress on really just catapult. So things like instant decisions, I think we're going to see those continue to increase. Lab-free decisions, our ability to underwrite those really complex um, hairy kind of cases. Um, I think that we're going to start to see the turnaround time on those improve significantly. Um, you know, basically modernizing the entire value chain. And I don't think it's going to end with new business or the buying process. I think that's going to continue to go through the whole value chain. Um, that whole umbrella of artificial intelligence is going to continue to change the way that we do business. Absolutely. I, I couldn't agree with you more. I think uh, we've only we've kind of only just begun, if you will. And I'm, I'm excited to see the progress that's happened over the last five years. But the accelerated pace that I'm seeing in our industry really, I would say, uh, just completely aligns with that use, what you've talked about in the fact that I really expect the next five years to be very exciting. And I agree it is a fun time to be in the business. Uh, it is just it's just fantastic. So. You're continuously working on improving the buying process and accessibility and all those things. But I, I know that as the chief operating officer for one of the largest insurance companies in the United States, you're not just focused on the beginning of the of the journey. Your team is also there when really it matters the most. It's on the back end and it's when people file a claim. You talked about filing a claim in your own personal situation. So maybe you could just spend a minute with us. We have a little bit of time left. So let's talk just a little bit about what you're doing to improve the customer experience really on the claim side. 
Well, that's an area that I am so passionate about. It is the ultimate promise. The, the processing of the claim, it's the ultimate promise. And at LGA, we pay 99% of our claims. Um, and to, to bring it really home to what we're doing, we're leveraging some of those tools that I mentioned earlier under that artificial intelligence umbrella. Mm -hmm. Um, we're using things like robotics, so robotic process automation. We're using Smartsheet. We're leveraging third-party data lookups. Um, again, I like to think of it as we're doing everything we can to squeeze the air out of that process so that we can get a beneficiary their payment as quick as possible. Um, maintaining that customer focus and really shed shepherding them through this difficult time is um, a, a big priority for my team. Um, in fact, we start a lot of our, our all employee calls with claims to remind everyone why we're here. You know, that is that is the ultimate promise that we're keeping. It sure is. And I, I Michelle, I love hearing the passion in your voice. And and, uh, you know, as I've said, I've been in, I've been kicking around this industry a little bit a while as well and i think that's what keeps many of us engaged and i'm confident that maybe you might have a story or two that you've heard over the years uh that really touched your heart maybe you could share with uh, the folks that are joining us today maybe one of those stories i do as i mentioned we um we like to start our all employee calls start and or end them with um a testimonial or a, a, an email some sort of a phone call recording that we've received from from a customer i i have a recent one that we got that i actually have on my desktop that it just reminds me again of why why we're here and so i'll just read it for you um my family and I appreciate you and how compassionately you handled my father's life insurance issues. For the first time in months, my mother's tears were of joy and not sorrow. You are the epitome of grace, kindness, and customer experience. I will forever remember you and how patient and understanding you were with us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That like, it just not only did the claim representative feel so honored that they received that testimonial, but I think it brought tears to a number of people's eyes when we read that in our, our town hall meeting. No question about it. I mean, I love, I just love hearing those stories. And I guess in honor of Life Insurance Awareness a Month, if you had the opportunity to talk directly to customers, now customers do not come onto this call, but if you had a chance to talk directly to a customer and maybe through the advisors join us today, you can. What is the one thing you'd love for them to know about life insurance? Very simple. Life insurance is for everyone. It's easier to buy and it's more affordable than you think. Very, very simple and, and absolutely correct. Totally agree. Michelle, is there anything we haven't touched on today that you want to make sure you share with our listeners? Well, I would say that, um, you know, we greatly appreciate your partnership. And I think together we can demystify life insurance. We can educate not only our family members and our friends, but those 106 million underinsured or those that have no insurance and bring them peace of mind protection and give them some peace, uh, again, some coverage. So, I can't thank you enough for having me today uh, here, Kurt. This has been a lot of fun, and it's been great to talk about a, a topic that I'm very passionate about. Absolutely. It's been fun having you here. Uh, just a pleasure having you on our program today. But wait, before anybody hangs up or goes, I want to go back to what I said earlier. So we have a lot of resources that we can help you with. And uh, with Life Insurance Awareness Month, you may want to get the word out to your clients. Let them know how important it is. These are great marketing pieces that you can access directly from our website and you can find them as well as access. You can talk about the campaign in the box that you heard about earlier. We can help you get all of those resources. Just reach out to your uh, CDA or your case design analyst and they can walk you through how to do that. When you're talking to them, the other thing I want to make sure that everybody is aware of is their own proprietary DBS fast term platform. This is a very simple way for you to run a quote and drop a ticket and get your uh, term cases done really on your phone or on your tablet or on your computer very, very fast. I can tell you, and if my kids came in here right now, they'd tell you, I'm not the super tech savvy guy, but even I have been able to use fast term to sell some life insurance and it is very simple and very easy. Michelle, thank you again for being with us. It's been an absolute pleasure.
Thank you so much. Have a great day and happy Life Insurance Awareness Month. Absolutely. Until next time, folks, thanks for joining us today. We look forward to seeing you again on another edition of Insurance Insight. Until then, be well and take care.